Now, several stories have been told about wildlife marvels. The next story is one such story that defies wildlife norm. It is about Elvis. Elvis the Eland. Orphaned at only three weeks, he was raised on formula milk by personnel at the Borana Conservancy in Lycipia. Now two and a half years old, he refuses to go back to the wild and appears to enjoy the company of humans. And as Rita Tinina reports, Elvis has a sweet tooth. Of the antelope family, the eland is the world's largest and slowest antelope. With a lifespan of 15 to 20 years, this cow-like animal is a shy one. We come across this group of elands grazing at the Borana Conservancy in Laikipia. With their shy nature, they disperse. But one eland has defied wildlife science, or is it eland expectations? Meet Elvis. He may not be as famous as his namesake, the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley. But Elvis the Inland is famed around Lycopia. Often, not only three weeks after his mother was killed by a lion, he was rescued by personnel at the Borana Conservancy. Uh, we bought special milk from uh, the pharmacy and we mixed with eggs and we fed him with that for about three months. That was two and a half years ago. Elvis has not made contact with the eland species in the wild, despite efforts by the Burana Conservancy to reintroduce him to his natural habitat. We took him for a walk uh, where other elands from the wild saw him and they, they tried to come after him, to come after him, but uh, he refused, he ran. Around the Borana Conservancy's workshop, offices and staff quarters, Elvis clearly knows not only who is who around here, he doesn't need any guidance or directions to find his way around. At night, he stays in our canteen. This is one guy who has no idea what not walking into an office and announced means. He just shows up. He even listens in on staff briefing meetings. He walks into office uh, very often. Elvis is friendly. Despite the fact that we are strangers, he keeps his cool, even with the intrusion of our camera. With a peace of mind and no worries about the possibility of stealthily hunting lions pouncing on him, he enjoys leisurely walks around the Borana camp. He likes some brushing of his coat, perhaps his idea of a spa treatment, not to mention the afternoon naps. Elvis enjoys what in his world could be termed the finer things in life. In fact, he has a sweet tooth. He likes uh, things like sugar, ugali, milk, and uh, cooking fat a lot. He likes the smell of cigarettes. With his size, horns, and four legs among the things telling him apart from those at the Borana camp, the conservancy says he is welcome to stay for as long as he likes. We'll continue taking care of him until such a time that maybe he'll die of old age or natural causes. For the past two and a half years, Elvis has found a new home at the Borana Conservancy. And while at least 200 other elands roam the plains of Borana, Elvis here, it appears, is in perfectly good company with the humans. Rita Tinina, KTN, at the Borana Conservancy, Lakeipia County.